Hello guys, Angela again here today. It's the last day of the decade. It's uh, the 31st day, so I'm sure you're all running around like mad trying to get things done for possibly an outing tonight. Well, I'm at home. I'm going to do the best thing I can do for myself, which is just to have some time with my um, family for a short bit and then of course there'll be a lot of crafting going on which is how I like it. So if you're in the same boat as me grab um, a couple of goodies and come and uh, craft along. So what I'm going to do today is, is something that I've been talking about in the last video is um, some of the things you can do with toilet roll cores or you know the inner bit. So you know these things that I'm sure we all, all have a multitude of, and often they just end up in the bin. But I've got a couple of ideas, which, as I always tell you, might not be unique. Um, I'm sure with all the um, different pieces of ephemera and recycling that people do, this must have come up somewhere. But anyway, as always, this is my take on what you can do with these. So let's have a look at what that can be. Um, I'll grab my journal. <clears throat> and show you here for example um hope you can see that um i've made some pockets here um with some tab tags and um, that just slide out over here that's uh, the one thing i'll show you and then i'm going to show you another thing which i'll leave to the end of what else you can do with these so grab a couple of things i'll tell you what you need to grab um you need a pair of scissors if you've got a bone folder, get hold of that. Um, glue stick will suffice or any other glue that you like to use. Um, if you want your ink and your dabber, then grab hold of one of those. Uh, and of course, you'll need um, a circle punch or any other punch. Um, I've actually got a different one um, as well that you can use. It's this type of one. Um, that also would work, but anything that you'd be able to nip out a little um, grab spot with your uh, on your pockets. Um, of course, you need some of these toilet roll um, inners, and then of course um, your big box of scrap paper. So that'll be um, what you'll need. Uh, lastly, um, but not least, still on the recycling haul, if I can grip it. Um, will be just, you know, pieces of card from packaging. So what did I eat? Carolyn chicken biryani. It was really nice. So I've collected these for months. So uh, as I said, um, I love them because of the, the colour of the paper. But these make excellent tags or journal cards. So hang on to that. We'll need that as well. All right, so let's get going. Uh, move that out the way. So the first thing you want to do with one of these holders... Um, is to lay it flat. So squash it down like that. Take your bone folder and just squash the sides down. Now you'll see that this does go a bit puffy and what you could do is if you do a whole lot of these in advance um, for future use and you want them flatter you can actually put them all together, um, for example, in a clip like this. So you could actually just put that down like that and use a big clip, one of those bull clips, or you can just put them under a stack of heavy books and it makes them flat. But for today's, to, today's purpose, it, this isn't really going to matter um, because I'm going to use my sewing machine and um, sew around the edge. You don't have to do that, of course. You can just glue it down. It's up to you. Depends what, what, you want, what you have and what you want to do. Okay, so that's the first thing that you're going to do there. And then, of course, you're going to... Um, let's put that aside. Once you've done that... Um, so here we have one here. That's really flat. It's been under um, a book for a while. But as I said, it's not going to matter today. Um, we're going to squash the sides down you can see it's a nice size now for for a pocket and then get hold of that pack of scraps all right so go and look in your scrap bundle and pull out bits like this because you can actually use that um well that one won't fit <laughs> so we'll look for another one 
uh, something that's going to fit. Um, here, for example, you could put that over there and you would just cut out a piece of paper ever so slightly bigger than the card. All right, so then you would just cut slightly round that. So let me just grab a pencil here. Um, I'm just gauging it roughly. But you can see um, ever so slightly bigger. And then just take your scissors or your um, craft knife or whatever it is that you're using and cut that out. Right, so it's as simple as that. You can also tear it out with your tear ruler. That gives it a nice rustic look as well. So, um, you know, whatever you choose to do. And that would look really nice on there like that. So can you see it's ever so slightly bigger. Um, and then I would choose the nicest edge here and make that the opening side. So that's how we would, that's the size that I'm sort of talking about. Now I'm not going to give you measurements because I know even for myself that these things have different sizes depending on the brand of toilet paper that I buy. So um, as long as you understand that you're just looking for a couple of millimeters either side like that. All right, so let's put that one aside. I like that one. We'll do that another time. So I'm going to stick with, um, this is some of uh, Tracy Fox's Lorella paper um, that I had in my scrap pile. So what we're going to do is I've cut that out as per the other one. And now we are going to take, um, we're going to glue this onto that. So I'm going to use my glue stick. You can use whatever glue you have. And then I just go straight onto this core like that. Just like that um, and then look for the nice end I think it's that end and um, check your paper which side you want up so the numbers are there so I'm gonna do it like that um, and then just stick that down um, a little bit over and then just use the burn folder and make sure that it's stuck down like that so that we have it like that as i showed you earlier all right so that's what we've got so far now um all we need to do um this is an optional step um so whether you have a, a sewing machine or not um, i'm going to just put it on running stitch find the pedal <laughs> if you are going to stitch it do a good back stitch um you know go over that a few times so it's not going to unravel when you're using the tag so let's do that Are you all today got your new year's revolutions together as Paige would say I'm gonna do a little bit of a zigzag in the middle here just because I like the look of it I hope you all have great plans for the new year And that they all come true because we all deserve to be happy don't we and all right so there we go you can see i've just stitched it a little bit of a zigzag just to give it a little bit of a, a look so now what we want to do is we want to actually notch out a little bit of a notch there so i'm going to use my um well whichever one you would normally use i think this is a one inch circle uh, so just open it up like that, take the thin side and shove that in because the other side ain't going to fit. And then just sort of gauge where you want to notch that out. So in the middle, more or less. And let's do that. There we have, we've got it there. But of course now I don't like that showing through there. So what I'm going to do is, is grab that piece of paper back again. Um, and I am going to just find a spot here, make it quite further down this time, All right? Um, and cut out one of those from that piece of paper. And I'm going to just stick that. Just chip my nail, ladies. It looks awful. 
I'll give my daughter to sort my manicure out when, I, when she's away. I hate chip nails. Right, just line that up then a little bit over. That's it. Right, so now we've got a nice neat finish and who would know? Yeah, so there we have it. There's a pocket, one of these done already. Right, now to save you the laborium of me doing it again, I have already sewn the second one. So there we go. We've got um, one of each here. Um, and where is my... Uh, we'll put that aside. Um, now, uh, using your recycled packaging here, we want to make um, two cards for these quickly. So let's just do that really quickly. That's just a case of getting your pencil. Yeah. Measure that there. Um, turn it over. I don't want it too tight, so I'm going to make it a quarter of an inch or just like four mils um, wide there and probably about just short of the end to the top here and that's what I'm going to cut so again I'm going to get my I like a craft knife but you can do whatever you would use even your trimmer if that works for you I've given up with the trimmers um, I just don't have luck with a trimmer. I had a lovely little guillotine, little one, that I loved. Um, my son decided it was great and he hijacked that along with my cricket. Can you believe it? Because he makes a lot of stickers and sells them. And so my cricket's gone. And so did the uh, guillotine. So that wasn't good. So let's just double check that. Yeah, I think that will work. So I'm going to cut out another one. I'm trying to save on card here. <laughs> uh, so let's just draw around that. Because it'll be the same. Oh, I did a tear. Um, I did. Um... I hurt my ankle yesterday, something awful. And I feel sorry for myself today. <laughs> I haven't broken it. Um, so thank you, Dina. It's not that black and blue. Um, she did say if it would be black and blue immediately. It is, it is pretty black and blue now, but it is feeling a lot better than it did. So I haven't broken it, but I reckon I've, I've really hurt the tendons or something inside, which wasn't very clever. I thought I was, I was hobbling yesterday uh, because none of my children would answer their phone. I don't know if they must have been busy or something because I just needed some tablets for the pain. It was so bad. Um, and so I had to hobble into the nearest shop after driving there, which was a painful experience, let's say. And eventually I managed to get hold of some painkillers um and then within half an hour i had some a little bit of relief but gosh i've never sprained my ankle before but gosh it was sore but i'm feeling a lot better today i've rested it put ice on and hot baths and everything so hopefully i'll just have to craft more you know i'll just have to sit down and um, delegate the duties of tea etc i won't need that in because we don't want it that long so what i've got here is Tracy Fox's botanical label. So this is from, um, oh, I think I threw the other bit in the bin. There it is. Um, the Vintage Botanical Collage Tags. That's from um, Love Junk Journals on Etsy. So if you're wanting to know where that comes from, I just thought they went quite well for what I'm doing. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I've cut these two out. Aren't those really pretty? Love the light shades shades of that. And now I'm going to um, line them up on here. So it is slightly smaller, but actually I quite like the way it looks because, as I said, the paper's ivory. It's not white. So we are going to just stick that on there like that. It gives it a nice border edge. So uh, not that side edge now. 
right so if you've got all that packaging it's whenever you use packaging um, you know make sure that you oh, what am I doing uh, I can't actually stick it on there ladies you can't I'm not using that side so what we'll have to do is find something to go underneath no, what I'm going to do is, not that, I'm going to trim it. So, um, there you go. Let's, we'll just have to trim that little bit off there. That's all right. We live and learn. Right. So, yeah, I'll, I'm going to show you something else you can do with um, packaging with windows. Um, I use those for quite a few things. So, if you have any cake cakes that you buy with the windows or anything with the windows in the packaging then keep those as well hang on to that and I'll show you what lovely creations we can make with those as well so right that looks fine there and then we're just going to do the same with the other now because Tracy has actually got the stitching on there um, we don't have to stitch it at all which is a saver isn't it so what we'll do is we'll just um, stick that on there mm. yeah I quite like that I think what if yeah I quite like that edge there so it doesn't matter that I'm going to cut a bit off of the flower I just like the look so you see, you don't have to use the whole size of something if you don't want to. You can just cut that off, give it a different look. Right. You. Okay, and then turn over and cut the, the length. Okay, so there we have two cards. Now, if you're wanting to, you can stitch around there again. That's up to you. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do that today, um, believe it or not. Um, and now what I need you to do is to get uh, make two tabs there. So as I said, if you don't have a tab um, punch, you can use a template and cut it out. Or you can use one of these. Or even cut out hexagonal shapes and stick two of these together. So that would also work. Um, so whatever suits you the best. So what I've done is I've used my um, hexagonal punch. And somewhere, <laughs> somewhere, oh, let's just see. I think I've got it here. ladies um you can you sometimes get these in the kits or you know this is something i haven't used with my punch or you can make your own so whatever it is that you choose to do i'm gonna have to um move this slightly so i'm sorry i need to just grab this punch in here let's just see how we if we are in frame so i'm sorry that i'm bumping the tripod you're back in place now um, and then it's a case of just cutting out another one of those so let's just find a piece of paper in the scrap box here's some of this I think this is from Artie Mays and then I just need to turn that over a bit like that Move these out the way. Sorry, I'm having a disjointed day here. <laughs> Things aren't as I thought. <laughs> I'm sure we all have that. Right, and then you just need a strip. So if you've got one of these, this is easy enough. Um, it's just a case of lining that up there. Make sure you don't grip the top. Oh, one. Two. Right. 
and there we have it so that will go nicely with those um right so let's put that down there so i don't have to do that again right now okay so we're going to just stick that on the top there so again if you're wanting to glue this i mean sorry if you wanted to stitch this you can do um these are all choices you decide for yourself so now it's just a case of sticking that on excuse the nail all right um you can even punch a hole there and put a little charm on do whatever you want so it's just a case of um putting that on and then the same over here whoops all right so make sure you glue it well and then just line that up oh that's the wrong end angela <laughs> just noticed at the last minute just line that up so it's in the center all right so we just check that quickly there we go all right so we've got two of those all right so there we go with that um now what i wanted to do was i wanted just to add a bit of um decoration on here so let's put those to the side for a minute um and have a look i'll put some decorations probably on here as well knowing me all right so i've just pulled together a couple of things um so today i'm going to use some cutouts and a combination of things really so i'm going to start with these first um and i thought and now remember oh sorry i'm all over the place you don't have to stick within the perimeters of of the pocket because this will be stuck on a page um as I showed you. So if I had to take a page like this, um, it's just one of my tea dyed pages, um, and you would just line those up and they, they line up really well and leave as much gap between the two as you want. Um, you can stick that like that onto the page as well. So that would be quite nice. Um, and then on this side, I thought I'd put a bit of a white one and yeah i'm bringing my little die cuts in again and i thought i'd stick that down like that and make a longer one we can always trim this off and put a bit of a, a lavender bit over there all right so yeah how's that look yeah so let's stick that down quickly um, I'm going to go with the other glue here. So, this one underneath. Right, so, is anybody working on anything exciting or doing anything exciting? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to know what you're all up to what your plans are for tonight if you've got new year's <laughs> resolutions um if you're starting a diet tomorrow <laughs> how depressing and um, what are you all up to let me know i'd love to know are you working on a journal are you going to be crafting like me tonight at home i know a lot of us um don't have a huge social life um and I'm all right with that. I don't. I'm very happy to be at home doing my own thing. Um, and I, I'm sure I'm not the only one. So let's just make sure that we're not going to knock into the one below. I want to make myself a planner. So I might share that if I get it sorted because planners can start any time they don't have to start at the new year do they so i thought i'd give it a go and see if that's going to help me in my quest for, to get done with all the things i want to do this year and as i do work full time as a teacher as you know um if you've been following me um it means i've got to really think hard about the usage of my time Right, so there we have those, and I'm quite happy with those. I would stick those down on a page. Um, if it was, um, if 
as it is me, if it was me, I can tell you that I don't like plain pages. I like something behind the page. So I would actually um, take my stencil. This is a Tim Holtz one. Um, and I would use a little bit of ink. This one's Shabby Shutters. And then I would just take my brush. This is optional. I'm just giving you ideas here, you know, uh, of things that you might want to include in your journal. So I'm just, you're not going to see most of this, but it's just like a little bit of something behind. I, I just like the way um, the page looks when I do that. So I like to stencil. Right, so let's put that away. Right, so now if you have a look and you put that on top there, um, it just gives it a little bit more depth. Um, I would stick those down like that. Now we've got our um, tags here as well. Um, and I would also um, just like to put something on those. So let's just stick this on here. I don't like things lifting. So, um, you know, the glue you use is up to yourself. But just make sure that the, whatever you do use... Um, is going to be long standing, you know, last a long time, really. I don't know if that was the right way to say that, but you know, it's not going to peel off, right? So, I quite like the look of that. There you go, it just gives a little bit extra. And then, I'm going to do the same with this one, um, all from an old book which we all have plenty of, I'm sure. Um, so let's do that one on this side. Perfect. All right, so I've stuck with the purples here, so you can see that one as well. Oh, was that too close? All right, so that just gives it something there. And you can write on there, you can write on the back, and as I said, you can stitch around there. Uh, which I might do at a later point, but it's not a necessity because it has got stitching on that. All right, so those would fit really nicely then once these are stuck down, obviously, um, in there. Just like that. There you go. So there you, you've got your, your tab and a page with two pockets. And who's to say that there were toilet roll holders underneath all of that? Nobody. All right, so nobody's the wiser. We've disguised them completely. Um, so there we go. Those would go over there like that. And I'd be very happy with, oops, with that page. Isn't it pretty? All right, so that's the first thing. So let's just move that out of the way. I'm just going to lift those up and put that aside. And now I'm going to show you something else that you can do. Now, you'll need three Three of these um, for this one and again I'm going to just take uh, one of these to show you what you need to do um, so three of these as I say two of them are going to remain the same size so um, there we have those um, and then the third one I actually want to cut down to that size so it's really pretty much just above halfway you can decide on what you want to do with that all right so i'm going to put that to the side again use your bone folder and then i just take a um my craft knife again i'm going to go about there i like this board because i can just sort of line things up and get a better idea of it being straight all right so just take that off like that there we go. Um, I might think of something else to do with that. <laughs> Who knows? Right, so there you've got one of those. So we've got one already. I'll keep that for future reference. And then, again, delve into your paper pile. Um, this was something out of one of my Can Company old books. So I'm quite liking the, the very light greens um, uh, and the blues. So if you want to know what this is from... Let me see if I can see it. Mm. No, 
it's a Kane Company botanical book, which is really old now. Um, but I'll, I'll put it down in the description if I remember. So we've got two that are the full length. And we've got one that's just over half. So that's what we want. And I've taken, as I said, pages and cut them. So again, you want to have that extra little bit cut around for each of those. Um, and again, we're going to stick glue all over that. Check for your best side. I think it's there. And we're going to stick this down on here. It's a shame, really, because I did try and look for this online and I didn't have any success but you never know you might be able to pick one up from on eBay or something um, and there you go I've just stuck that down and um, I am very quickly just going to sew around the three sides so sorry I bumped you there um, so let's do that don't forget the double stitch at the top almost done um, a little bit of that uh, zigzag straight stitch again sorry right uh, scissors it is awkward trying to sew with a tripod in the way <laughs> right so there we have one of those and again um what we want to do is uh you can notch out a little bit there if you wanting to um that's up to you um, I'm not going to do it in this case, but again, you could stick behind a, a little bit of a, um, a scrap piece of um, paper behind there as well, um, and it can alternate with that. But what I've done is I've already done this with some other pieces of paper. This is from the same pack, and that's just an Artie Mays one. And now I'm going to show you um, how to put this together on a page. So let me grab that page again. Um, here we've got the same page and what I'm going to do is is arrange these but in a different way so I'm, I want to have one at the top one at the side and one at the bottom so we could stick those down like that how does that look okay now you can shingle them as high and as low as you want so you know um, and it could be on either side of the page obviously so however you want to lay those out and stick those down like that as well. And I really think that's pretty because if you put in some tags or things there, um, what did I do with my other one that I made? Um, I think I, oh yes, I did. So let's just grab that to show you. Um, Sorry, taking my merry time here. Um, we could stick one of these in here. This is when that little notch might come in handy. So we could stick one of those in there. And remember, if you're wanting to know how to make these tags, these are actually from that video. So um, you can easily um, follow that video, which... I'll link in the description below. So if these were stuck down, you could um, easily just make that straight. <laughs> it's easier when it's stuck down. Um, and then I've just taken two of these little cards, which I think were from Amity Bloom. And I've just backed them onto some other paper and those could just go in the front. And how pretty is that? Can you all see that? Shall I lift it up? Um, there you go. I quite like that. All right. So the other thing I wanted to do is, um, which I haven't shown you, is just to take some more little bits like this, little scraps, and then just arrange them. Like, for example, stick them on the side like that. 
um, it just gives it a little bit more dimension or we could um, you know uh, in every whichever way you like I like this little saying here every flower is a soul blossoming in nature Gerard uh, de Nivelle don't know who that is but I quite like that all right so there we go and of course as always we could always find um, a butterfly or so to to stick on now this one's a bit bright but it could work um, um, what other ones do I have in here and I do have loads but of course when you're wanting a specific color then it's not to be found here's a dinky little one um, very small I prefer the smaller ones if I'm honest at the moment <laughs> but it's just a case of finding the right one um, and I probably would have to go and find some more oh here's a nice small one too I quite like that I think that's better than this huge one what do you think ladies um, so there you go we could stick those on as well yeah so there we go How's that look? Um, I quite like that. I think that's really pretty. So there we go. So today we've made this, which we would stick down on a page. I'm not going to stick it down now because um, I would need to, I like to link it in with the other side of the page and I, I don't really know what that is at the minute. Um, here you can see I've made some others and I've stuck down um, little quotes as well. So you could do that. That's another idea. Um, and of course, then the other one I did was uh, this one here. Which I stuck into my signature already. So that was the other one over there. All right. So that gives you an idea of everything, or well, so far, what we've done today with the toilet roll holders. And we've used five of them. So I hope that you start collecting those toilet roll holders. Um, and try some of this stuff for your journals. Um, don't forget, if you want to know how to make the tags, I have got a tutorial on that, so you can follow that as well. And start reusing some of the packaging that we throw away every day, just about. All right. Um, as it's the 31st of December, I do want to say to everybody, have a fabulous New Year. May it be full of happiness, full of joy, and may you have your health, and lots of crafting time because that's you know also very important nice recharge nice therapy um and of course thank you all to everybody in the community you have been phenomenal uh, with your support and love and kind comments for me this year i've just hit a thousand subscribers so thanks to all of you because it is all of you that made that happen I am working on a giveaway, which is going to take place in January. So keep um, a watch out for that. Um, and I will be back with some more tutorials. And if you have any ideas on things that you'd like me to show you, please let me know. Um, so have a great day tomorrow and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.